what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm on my way to a place and I'm just gonna show myself shifting around and all that. And uh, also I'm gonna demonstrate something called floating gears, which is basically just shifting gears without the clutch. Like for example, say you're in first gear and well, if you just try and yank the shifter, it usually won't move or it'll pop out of gear and you can really damage it that way. But there's a way you can maneuver the throttle and use the, 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 the decelerating of the engine to synchronize the gears into the next gear. So basically, there's a way you can shift gears without the clutch. So, you know, you're driving along, then you let off the gas and push the shift lever and it falls right out of gear. And then if you delay it, the right amount of time and push it it'll go right into the next gear it's a technique used by truck drivers because they don't have synchronized transmissions so yeah and all, it's something I rarely ever do because it can actually damage your transmission if you don't time it exactly right like usually you know it'll kind of hang there before it goes into gear that's your means you're hitting your synchronizer ring if you push it it just falls right into gear that means you've done it perfectly so basically yeah I'll let you know when I do the floating technique and you'll see what I'm talking about. Basically, I'll, I'll start off floating the gears at first, and then I'll just kind of transition, just go in driving it regularly. But this is something actually that comes in handy if, like, something goes wrong with your clutch and it doesn't disengage. You can float the gears around so you can get to a place where you can get it fixed. Like that. No clutch at all. See, my foot's right here. Easy to find. See, I just went through all five gears and I didn't even touch the clutch. Downshifting is funny because what you need to do is rev the engine up to the right speed like that. Give it a little more gas until it sounds like the right speed and then it'll go down. But it is a big, uh, it's a bit of a pain in the butt when you first learn it because you're going to grind your gears and make a bunch of bad noise. And and then to get it out of gear, you either whether you're deceler when you're decelerating, you give it gas and it goes out of gear. If you're accelerating, you let go of the accelerator and it goes out of gear. So I'm just going to drive it normal like. Yeah, it's not something you would normally use unless, you know, if you got a clutch with a cable rather than a hydraulic one that I have. If that breaks or something just goes wrong with your clutch and it can't disengage properly, this is something that would come in handy to use. It's floating them.
simple as that.